Okay, so, Faulkner Battle, he sends out Wingle. Okay? These three guys get absolutely destroyed by Water Pulse. So, they're good against the rest of his team. Any one of them has a chance of wiping out the rest of his team, potentially. I'm not sure if they can, but they seem like they have a good shot of it. So, Natsu or Swiper first. Now, I think Natsu and Swiper both have similar chances to beating the Wingle. However, if Natsu beats it, he'll send out Emogula next and use Thundershock, because it's super effective against Natsu. If he uses Thundershock, we can switch for free to either of these two. Now, there's a chance he doesn't. But the free switch there would be huge. So we're going to go for that play. That's our that's our line. And I think either Natsu or Swiper have similar chances of beating Wiggle. So, here we go. If we beat this fight, we're pretty set until Bugsy. Unless we do something real dumb. Or unless Brock surprises us. We've never had trouble with Brock, and our team seems pretty good against Brock this game. I think Marowak can just 1v3 Brock. Just wipe him out. Okay. The Wingle is our biggest issue. But we'll see how much we lose on this. We just stab Confusion. He is faster. He Water Pulsed instead of Air Cutter, which means he might confuse us. Luckily he didn't. Wingle just doesn't have the stats to be great is our one benefit here. So we can even beat him with like unevolved Pokemon that aren't amazing. Unless they get confused, which seems to always happen. Unfortunately. <laughs> Hit him, please. Yes. Natsu. Way to go. Oh, that didn't kill. Shoot. That's a little bit unfortunate. So we could risk the confusion attack here. I don't think that's great. I think we switch. And if things go too bad, we'll back gets one more shot at it. He might just confuse us again, but it's such a low chance of confusion. So we get one more attack. I don't think he'll kill it. Oh, we just quick attack. I forgot we had that. This was way better of a plan since we had quick attack. Now we don't get the free switch on the Thundershock anymore. But that's fine, because we'll, we can use the Rock Pokemon instead. So it'll be the air cutter will be not very effective against anything we switch to, but I think our rock dude's pretty well set up to beat either of these guys. Oh, and he's using not the electric one anyway, so we wouldn't have gotten that switch unless he sent out the electric one if we had blue bat, which I think is quite likely. But let's give Tech his shot of winning this fight. Oh, he has rock smash. Okay, we knew that from before. We probably should have been ready for it. Um, I don't really like this fight. I think we can switch here. Now, we switch to Marowak or Sally? I think Sally, if I play him, I'm going to end up using Rollout, and that's really risky. So I like the Marowak. We don't like getting Rock Smashed here. We should have thought a little more before we did that move. Because Rock Smash is good against Dark, so they will need to use it that situation. Marowak with Headbutt's not bad, but it's not great either. And we're slower than he is. We can tank one more hit. But at least if we switch, he'll be using Aerial Ace instead of Rock Smash. Okay, we can tank one more hit if it's not a crit, but our Headbutt won't even kill, so it's not really that valuable. Aerial Ace will be not very effective against Tech, and then Tech could Rock Throw, but then we have to beat his last Pokemon, which is Sally, which is probably doable, so I think that's the play. Or we could have Sally go out against this Pokemon. That just seems worse, though. I think it's up to Tech here. Aerial Ace should do, like, 3 damage, because it's not very effective. And then Rock Smash will do something, but our defense isn't lowered anymore. Rock Tomb should wipe him out here. Okay. Roost means Rock Tomb's not super effective, so that's unfortunate, but it still lowers his speed, which is kind of good. So now that we lowered his speed, I think the play is Rock Polish. Oh, we were faster anyway. Shoot. Lowering his speed one level made us faster, so Rock Polish was just... we wasted a turn. So that may have been pretty bad there. Unfortunate. I wanted to go first so he couldn't Roost and make Rock Tomb not super effective. Was the idea behind that? But 
now we're probably faster than a Mogula, so maybe it wasn't a wasted turn in the end. We got to eat our berry because his unnerved guy died. And we grew a level. Three attack, four defense. Pretty pretty uh pretty relevant. Thunder Shock is scary here, but we have 31 health, so I don't think it'll kill us in one hit, and we're probably faster than him. If we're not, Rock Tomb will slow him down, so we should get to attack two times to his one time. And I don't think he has anything that can deal with us. So as long as these 95% accurate moves don't miss, we're set. Honestly, it might one-shot him, but we should get two tries before he gets one, or before he gets two attacks. Nice. Rock Polish Man is faster than him. This might one-shot. If it doesn't, we're still fine. We still got the berry. Unfortunately, we don't have any 100% accurate moves, so we're going to have to risk the 95. That did 15 damage, so he might kill us if this misses. Um... You know, it's very likely we hit, and it's pretty likely he doesn't kill us if we miss, but I think it's just a lot safer to send Sally out here, and I can't imagine him beating Sally at this health. He's going to Thundershock, so it'll do nothing. We can switch Sally for free. Sally's full HP, and that's super effective rollout. Like, this just seems to be minimalizing that like 1% risk of dying there, so I think it's a good play. Now we could rapid spin because it can't miss, but rollout's super effective. I think rapid spin's better because it speeds us up, and it might take two shots to kill him, but we'll get sped up. So he's already slowed once, so we'll probably outspeed him after it. Oh shoot, that hurt a lot more than I thought it would. We went down to 13 health, so it took. That hurt 22, that's scary. So now we're in that same situation. That we were just in only at worst. So we did lower his speed and we did raise our speed. And it isn't and it isn't guaranteed that another air cutter will kill us. We don't know if he rolled high or low on that first air cutter, but if it does exactly the same damage, we live. We have 16 speed, which is not great. Whoa, this guy's actually really fast for our team. I did not expect that. He's a speedy boy. Okay, so he's going to air cutter, but that sets up a kill here. We have quick attack on you. Air cutter did like quite a 22 damage to you. Through the 26 defense you have. But Marowak, yeah, this is tough. I guess we should have just, I thought Sally could tank two hits. I think we'll go first, but I'm not even certain that Rapid Spin will kill. If we switch, you get Air Cutter down to like 15, and then Thundershock probably kills you, and I don't think you're faster. If we switch to you, you probably just die. If we switch to you, you're going to go second, so two hits will kill you. And if we switch to you, you probably go second anyway. So I think we put ourselves in a bad situation here, and we just have to hope Sally can get us out of it. It, it felt a lot safer than the other route, but I guess it wasn't. That's unfortunate. I think Rapid Spin... I actually don't know if Rapid Spin will kill even if we go first, so I... Maybe Rollout is better. No, I think we have to Rapid Spin here. We had the speed up, he was slowed down once, and I think it'll kill. Okay. That was a lot riskier than I wanted it to be, though. Still, it's a win. No lost Pokemon. We were pretty worried about Wingle with three guys of our starters. Like, our three first Pokemon were all bad against Wingle. So, 